I honestly don't know why I love vacuums so much. Everybody asks me that. Why do you like vacuums? Why do you like vacuums? Is it the motor? Is it the sound? Is it the look? Is it the bags? Is it the... I honestly do not know. My mom says my interest in vacuums took off when I would always watch her and um, I was sitting in my little baby seat, my, hot, my eyes would just follow the vacuum everywhere. And um, she said I would always like get all excited when she brought it near me and everything. So I just, I, don't, I honestly don't know how I got started, but um, I think that's probably just being around it. Presently, I own about 160 vacuum cleaners. This is my 1956 Hoover Constellation. This is my Hoover 150 vacuum cleaner from 1936. This is my 1965 Westinghouse this convertible. This is my 1920 airway upright. This is and my Hoover is convertible vacuum, vacuum cleaner, cleaner from, from 1936. It's so rare. It is not very rare, but I have so rare. I vacuum at least 20 times a week. I love to vacuum three times a day. And you know, it's not really like I want to get all the dirt. It's mainly an enjoyment thing. Like if I have so much homework on a night, I'll take a five minute vacuum break just to get my mind off of things and I'll go back to homework. Honestly, I didn't, I, I thought it was just gonna be a phase where I was, he, he liked these vacuums for a while, then I'd take him out in the yard and we would do some golfing, some baseball, maybe some fishing, but he didn't want any of those other three things I named. He always wanted his vacuum cleaners. Kyle always wanted to be something vacuum related for Halloween. The actual candy went inside the shoe box in the front, which also was his headlight for his, his uh, costume. In the summertime when he's not in school, he vacuums all day long, just trying out different vacuum cleaners that he owns. And, and I have to say that all the stores in our area, um, they actually know Kyle by name and they know who he is um, as, you know, I mean, he's known as the vacuum boy, the vacuum kid. Right now we are headed to a vac shop where we are going to meet up with one of my friends, Chad Shaliber, and we are going to trade a vacuum and we're also going to ask him a few questions. This is the Westinghouse Convertovac. Hi, Chad. Hi. How are you? I got an airway for you. Nice. Is this what you want? Yeah. Hey. Well, I have a couple for you as well. Oh, okay. Here it is. <gasps> there is the Westinghouse Converto bag. Haba, haba, haba. Look at that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but guess what? We even have something better. The Denim Edition Convertible. The Hoover Denim Edition Convertible. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep. Ooh, um, I can see you back polished it. Yep, I nice. just did it this morning. And Thank I did the uh, Converto back too. I consider myself a collector. I've had before over at least 100 machines. Very nice. My grandmother used to set me on one of her canister styles and pull me around the house while she was cleaning. Um, that, was, that was one thing that definitely I think had something to do with it. I mean, I, I just wanted to be right there with the machines. We met on the vacuum forum, uh, vacuumland.com. It was funny, I was uh, just checking to see if somebody might have had a part for a machine that I had, and I saw this that Kyle had posted, and I saw that we were both from Michigan, and I thought that was very unique, you know, that there would be two people, you know, that uh, has such a passion for something. I know I've, I've had quite a few myself, but never that many. And that's, that's pretty amazing that you have 150 plus machines now. Any others that you would like to... Uh... Can 
gonna try one more. I get sick of seeing vacuums everywhere. There's at least one in every room, all the time. They're all ugly. They're all loud. He tries to tell me that some are quiet. They are not quiet, please. Am I, get, am I making too much noise? Love it. I was very nervous um, to tell some of my friends at first that I collected vacuum cleaners because I, honestly, I kind of figured that they would ignore me after that, like figure, oh, I'm too weird to be their friend and stuff like that, and that has happened to me uh, before. It was kind of irritating at first because he'd go on about vacuums and we'd get impatient with him, but it's kind of cool that it's gotten him to all this different stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just obsessed. It was. It took me a while to get used to. I had never had anyone with that big of obsession about anything, really. Um, once in a while, he'll get a little bit of static or a little bit of jealousy from other kids. He handles that very, very well because he knows it is something important to him, not only as a passion, as a hobby, but as a future. He would stay inside uh, at recess time. He'd vacuum uh, half of our room one day, the other half the other day. He'd also go down to the principal's office uh, to vacuum during recess. Oh goodness, my, where will he be in 15 years? Probably, he'll probably have his own like um, chain of vacuum stores, a big business somewhere. I think he'll always be doing something with vacuum. He'll definitely will be inventing vacuums. When I'm older, I wanna make a silent vacuum. If he's not headed toward the Senate or the House. He'll probably have some vacuums invented by then. He will probably be a very famous businessman. But at the same time, I am huge into musicals and stuff. I honestly don't know what he's going to do for sure. I can, I can guarantee it'll, it'll have something to do with vacuum cleaners. And I, I dream of being in the musical Wicked. I want to I wanna be in that so badly. Um, that is called vacuumland.org, and that is currently the hottest of vacuum cleaners, like, sorority. And um, it is so cool. Every day there's a vacuum of the day, and you can talk about different stuff. You can talk about vintage vacuums, um, new vacuums, and off-topic stuff. And lately I posted some of the shows I was on. I've gotten a lot of good responses from people, like, good job or good luck before I, before I left. Please welcome from Michigan, 12-year-old Kyle Krishbaum. <laughs> well, let's get to the bet. Kyle here claims that he can identify five vacuum cleaners from the collection here on stage, purely by the sound alone. Okay, the hand is raised. Nice and quiet, please. Kyle, what is it? I think it is the Hoover Constellation. It's correct! I think it is the Shop Vac. It's the right answer! I think it is the Hoover Elite. It's correct! What do you think that one was? I don't that one anywhere. That is the Shark Mini Upright. Yeah. That is one of my very favorite vacuums. That is the Simplicity Free. Yeah, I do think recently it's it's been more it's been um, even greater teasing because because of all the like attention. I have a Tonight Show backpack. They gave it to me while I was out there. I thought that was so cool, cool. And I took it to school and and I have all my stuff in it. And the only problem is the zippers. They go all the way to the bottom instead of to the sides. And when you unzip the backpack, and one day, somebody screamed the Tonight Show freak in the hallway and unzip all completely pulled my zippers and everything on my backpack just fell everywhere all over the hallway. So that kind of that kind of bugged me all all day. There is a little kid and his mom who wrote to me that live in um, Indianapolis, yeah, Indiana, and um, he wrote to me because he is a four year old. And he is in love with the vacuum cleaner, just like I am. And here are some pictures of him. My advice to Skylar is, when you're older, when you're my age, um, never ever let any bullies or anybody discourage you in collecting anything. 
because you will get picked on for what you collect, whether it's Barbies or vacuums or cards or whatever. Do not let anybody discourage you. You will get name called and whatever. If you're really passionate about what you're collecting, then you will keep collecting it and keep loving what you're collecting. I don't think I'll ever stop collecting vacuum cleaners. <laughs>